It's Bear, Bev's Fitness. Hello, how are you? Um, I just thought I'd show you a few quick stretches to do for your running. Because um, you don't have to do loads of different ones, but these are the main ones I think would be really beneficial. Okay, so we're going to start off with a calf stretch first. So you just push your hands against the wall. So you do this when you're really warm after your run. Bend your front knee and press your back heel right down. Okay, and ideally you're going to hold all these stretches for around at least 30 seconds and then maybe building it up gradually to a little bit longer, to like a minute. Okay, so change legs. So really push the back heel down. Okay, and you should be feeling that in your calf muscle. Okay, so they always tighten up after running. Okay, so I might not hold it for quite as long but you can hold it for longer when you get to know them, okay? Okay, so the next one is a quad stretch. Okay, so what we're going to do is bring the heel up to the buttock. Okay, you can place the arm up, you can hold on to the side of the rim if you like. Basically, your knees come together and you're pushing your hip forward. Try and keep your ankles straight and you're feeling that stretch through the front of your thigh. Okay, nice easy breathing all the way through, abs in. Changing legs, so again, holding it for longer than I'm holding it for. It's just like a, just to show you what what are the key positions really. Okay, so it's quad stretch there. So important to keep the knees close together, push the hip bone forward. Okay, there are variations of this. Okay, the next one we're going to stretch your hamstrings out. So tummies in, take a deep breath in. Legs about hip distance, we stretch up as far as we can and then we exhale forward over the legs. Okay, now if you find that you can't touch the floor, that's fine. What you can do is bring your hands up on the thighs there. So keep your abs in to support your back and you should still be able to feel a stretch through the back of the legs. You can also maybe put a cushion there, so put your hands on the cushion. And eventually, when you do these stretches for a long period of time, you'll be able to get more flexible and you will be able to go down towards the floor. Okay, but you can also fold your arms as well there if you want to. You should be feeling this in the lower back and right down through the backs of the legs. So nice, easy breathing all the way through there. Okay, this would be really good for you. So when you come out of that, you can bend the knees the easiest way to come out. Slowly roll up, head coming at last. And inhaling as you lift, okay? So then we're going to go down to the floor and we're going to do an inner thigh stretch. So we're going to bring the soles of the feet together and just gently lean forward and press your elbows on the inside of the knees there. Okay, so back's nice and tall and gently lean forward. You should be feeling that through your adductor muscles, the inner thigh. Okay, holding that stretch there. Okay. So the next one, what we're going to do is what's called crescent moon. So we're going to come up onto one knee. Okay, so ideally the front knee is, the front leg, sorry, is 90 degree angle here. Okay, your back foot can either be curled underneath or flat and your body weight is forward. So you're feeling that stretch through the front hip, through the inner thigh, through the buttock. You can keep your hands on your leg there, okay? Or you can reach all the way up. So whichever is good for you. Okay, but this is really good for stretching your hip flexors. Okay. So now from this position, what we're going to do is take the hands down we're going to into what's called pigeon. Your foot comes diagonally across, sliding your back leg straight as you can, and we're stretching our buttock here on the right side. Okay, so you can either stay up or you can go forward, or you can take the arms out. But if you find that too much, just stay lifted here, okay? So really good for stretching your buttock. Okay, and we're going to slowly come round and change sides. This is all much more comfortable on, on a carpet or a mat. Okay, so crescent moon. Okay, 
sorry, I'm trying to get into the camera there. Okay, so 90 degree angle through the front leg, body weight forward, reach up if you want to. Okay, or you can lean forward if you wish. So but you should be feeling that stretch through the front hip, a little bit through the inner thigh there, crescent moon, okay? So a lovely stretch there. Okay, then take in the weight back, taking the foot across, sliding the leg back. Okay, so you're just staying up right here, all going forward. Trying to, so the main aim is to try and keep your heel towards your hip bone on the other side, the knee is out, okay, and um, if you want to, go forward for that extra stretch. And then slowly coming up, and that's it really, okay, there's lots of others I can show you, but those are quite good to start with, okay. So I hope it helps you.